Well, all right, hey everybody, it is August 12th, and uh, <clears throat> I'm about to record a video that I have been dreading the recording of. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this one for a while, but uh, the amount of pain involved has been deterring me, but I'm just going to do it because what the hell. The sauce that I wanted to uh, review today was supposed to have arrived in the mail already, but it's not here. So I guess I'll have to do something else for today's uh, content. I'm actually supposed to be getting, uh, in total, there are four sauces coming in the next uh, day or two. So we'll just see. But uh, for now, I'm going to be working with stuff that I already have. And uh, the reason I've been dreading it is because I'm talking about what, or answering the question, uh, what do I have in my collection that is a non-extract sauce that is more brutal than any other, more brutally hot. Um, and I've whittled it down to two. There's a third one that would have been a contender, but I tried it again recently and I just know it just doesn't stand up to the other two contenders. And that one, the one that's eliminated from this round, which is good because I don't feel like uh, trying it again is the, uh, the Hellboy sauce. It is hot, but it's not brutally hot. And you know, it advertises itself as being the most extreme non-extract sauce in the world. This is what it says. Extreme hot sauce, mess with the devil and you will get the horns. This sauce will wake up the demons inside you. This is the hottest non-extract hot sauce in the world, containing 85% straight up pepper mash. Use with caution and enjoy. I, I've had a big amount, it's pretty fiery, but it's not on the level of the next two. All right, so the two we're gonna be trying and comparing are Elijah's Extreme, Extreme Regret Sauce, and then the Ancho o Masala uh, Reaper, or Scorpion Reaper Sauce by uh, Bravado Sauce Company. Okay. I think I can predict which one's going to be the winner here. I'm going to have to try them again side by side just to find out. So I'm going to start with uh, Extreme Regret. This is a screaming hot sauce. It's got... Its ingredients are Trinidad Scorpion and Carolina Reaper Chili Peppers and a bunch of other stuff none of which is extract. Okay. It says screaming hot on the front, and then it says regretfully hot on the back. I don't know, which is it? Maybe it's both. Now uh, remember, now this has a beautiful, beautiful aroma, and this is a very, very good sauce, but it is, it's hot, and it's made me throw up, throw up uh, twice, I think? I might throw up today, I haven't had any food. Okay. It's a good sized dollop. Let's go. I have my relief too. Okay. Alright. So yeah, it's one of those sauces that isn't so immediately fiery that <clears throat> you can taste the, the apple cider vinegar, you can taste the garlic in it, you can taste the carrots, the tomato paste, the salt and sugar. There's onion, lemon, passion fruit in there. You get little hints of all of that before the heat starts kicking in. Here it comes. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Still waiting for it to climb. <clears throat> it's a good burn. But it's more of that low rumbling ghost burn, even though there's not ghost pepper in it. It tastes, to me, the burn's a little more ghosty than it is um, reapery. And it doesn't have the scorpion sting either, really. <clears throat> yeah, numb or something. I don't know, we'll see when I try the other one. That took a pretty good, you saw, that was a pretty good portion that I took. It's just not striking me as. Uh, nearly as brutal as um, as the other one as I remember it and that's a weird thing maybe somebody can speculate on this I understand that the you know the building and lowering of tolerance you know so if you're just like day after day after day you're just basically chugging hot sauce you know something like eating something like this is just it's not going to be that bad but <clears throat> I'm talking about something that seems to happen with me, which is the fluctuation of day-to-day -day tolerance. That I don't understand. Because there are days when I've tried that sauce when it is absolutely brutally hot, 
And then other days when I've tried it, and it's like this. And it's like, yeah, that's a spicy sauce. It's pretty hot, but it has nowhere near the hottest sauce that I've had. I mean, I'm, it's already dying down, and I feel like the uh, heat just peaked at a five. So, I don't hold out much hope for that one being the winner of this contest. Maybe I built up a huge overnight tolerance. I had this weird, um, like, it was like binge hot sauce eating that I did last night. I was just walking around and looking at my hot sauce collection and taking little bits of all of them and retasting them. I was doing that for about an hour. Surprisingly, I didn't get sick, although this is starting to do a little number on my stomach. <clears throat> the puke paws may uh, follow the next sampling. I'm just going to sip this milk a little bit to make sure that the burn from Elijah's Extreme Regret is completely gone because I don't, you know, when I'm trying these two sauces side by side, I don't want any of the, I don't want the flavors and I don't want the heat level getting confused at all. So there's still a little bit of heat there. I'm going to pause so you don't have to, you know, boringly watch me sit here and wait for the uh, heat to die down completely. And plus, I think I have a little indigestion that I need to take care of before, um, before I take on the next one because I'm really not in the mood to, to vomit right now. So, take a little break. All right, <clears throat> I think I'm ready for the second one now. Okay, so here it is. Mancha Masala, Scorpion Reaper Sauce by Bravado. I seem to remember it had a deeper red co color when I bought it. Um, because uh, I've had it for a couple of years and I know that the uh, color of hot sauce can uh, change over time and get duller. But I think that's what happened here. But it's still got a, you know, got a nice fiery color still. And the last time I tried just a drop of it, it has lost none of its potency, I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, I really need to get, you know, it's one of the things I do not like about certain hot sauces. I don't like it when there's that thick buildup right at the top of the jar. Let's hope I got rid of it here. I didn't. One second. All right, I did the best I could do to clear out that uh, clogged up entryway. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm shaking a little bit. This is gonna be about three times as much as I had the other day. Oh. Okay. Well, it's now or never. Have some incredible flavor in that. Let's see if I can read off the spices before I just like collapse into the inability to articulate anything. All right, so this has scorpion pepper puree in it, Carolina Reaper pepper puree, and then red ghost pepper puree. So there's three extremely hot um, peppers in there. There's coriander, cumin, cinnamon, black pepper, ginger, and cloves, all of which I'm tasting. Hmm. And my goodness, I am not on fire. I'm not in pain right now. It's not hitting me the way that it did when I tried it two days ago. Why? What is happening? My uh, tolerance level. I feel like a pro right now. But I'm not a pro. I had a couple drops of this last night and I was absolutely on fire. Now I just feel just fine. Yeah, burns like a four. Am I gonna have to redo this video on another day and like see if I get different results? Because right now, I'm about to crown this the uh, the king of brutally hot non-extract sauces. This is tasty, very tasty and very spicy, as is this. But this edges it out in terms of pain. I'm doing just fine. I just have like a dull burn there. That's so weird. I don't understand it at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was a little bit underwhelming. I was expecting to show you guys some real suffering, um, considering that two drops of that, uh, two drops of this, like, left me in a panic. I was tearing up. My nose was running. I was, like, drank, like, two cups of milk. 
It was real bad. But uh, today it's just fine. I'm perfectly fine. Okay. Well, I don't know. Guess we should give this one another try. Why not? We're here, right? Watch something weird, totally weird and zany is gonna happen, and uh, this will be the hottest one, right? All right, let's try a bit of this. Mm. Got some nice pepper pieces in that bite. Not sure, sure what type of peppers, because there's about five different types of pepper in that. But I got some pepper pieces there. Probably the Buchalope yet, because it's not that hot. No, that one's nowhere near the other ones. That's like just below a four, just under a four for heat for me. This hit a five. This hit peaked at a four. So there it is. Elijah's Extreme Regret is the hottest non-extract sauce that I have in my collection. And I really don't want to do the video where I determine which is the hottest extract sauce. Because I will peak in that one. And will be in pain. Alright. Till next time.